Mr. Milton, don't know me. If you bring him here today, he can't identify me. I don't know him either. Okay. When the allegations broke, probably a month after December, I made it my business to find out who was Mr. Milton. And he told me on the phone that he didn't mention my name to Mr. Tench, so I don't know why I'm here today. I guess you need to bring Mr. Milton here. Maybe you can help us. Do you know his first name? No, sir. Okay. I don't even know his first name. I don't know how he looked. So how you got his number? I had someone found him for me, someone from Corozal. Someone because, from well, if you had an allegations broke out about you, would like to know who said it, right? And the person told me that there was a guy, Mr. Milton, who said that I gave him some visas for sale. So I made it my business to find out who was Mr. Milton. So you just called a friend in Corozal and told him to find a Mr. Milton? No. How did you find out who Mr. Milton was? The person found out for me. But what did you tell that person? Find Mr. Middleton? Find a Mr. No. What? So I want you to explain what you did. How you found out who Mr. Middleton was. The person told me that Mr. Middleton was the brother of someone who worked at immigration. And that's the from there. Who? The brother of who? Another Mr. Middleton who used to work with us. You realize that they're saying that you stole the visas, right? Yeah, but because what is, like what is the evidence not, not to disclose. someone is saying that I stole visas, but when, where, how? I understand that, but I need, because you're the person who is being accused of this. You should have brought Mr. Milton here first, and he would have told you that he don't know me, then I wouldn't have, have to come here today, because I don't know Mr. Milton.